Hello and welcome to Running. I'm Zachariah Hughes. With me is John Weddleton, running for re-election representing South Anchorage on the Assembly. John, welcome and uh, your opening remarks. Oh, it's good to be here. So I am running for re-election. The last three years have been uh, very challenging. It's been a lot of work, but I've really enjoyed being part of a team with the other Assembly members, with the administration, lots of very active citizens. And I think we're uh, poised to uh, make real progress on some of our biggest challenges in Anchorage and uh, kind of grab some opportunities. You know, I was surprised to learn that I'm running unopposed. And people have asked me why I'm even campaigning when I don't have any opposition. And I think it misses the point that a campaign is more than just harvesting votes. You know, it's really about uh, candidates learning about their constituents and also connecting constituents with their government. Uh, citizens are very disconnected, and it's important um, that uh, those connections be made, but with one person running, there's less of that. So it's really because I'm unopposed, I'm actually running harder than ever. What do you think are the biggest challenges for the municipality and then for your uh, district mm -hmm. specifically? Well, I think everywhere. Uh, crime is terrible right now. It's been bad. And then tied into that very closely is homelessness. It's starting to define our city, and we can't have that. Uh, for as far as public mm -hmm. safety goes, what are policies that uh, you've maybe worked on in the last three years, but you'd like to see advanced in the next three? Well, you know, we've, we have been in those three years, in the four years with uh, uh, Mayor Berkowitz, is, is taking money from every department and moving it towards police. So we've built up the police force from 325 when I started to 450 now and reorganized in some ways, and, and that is making a difference. We are seeing less car thefts. We're catching more people. Um, there's a problem that there's less prosecutors at the state side, so it's that catch and release thing. But to deal with that, we put some detectives in the state prosecutor's office to help take workload off of them so they take more of our cases. So whatever it takes, we're um, just trying to make it so you know, that, that police side is, is much stronger. Um, but you have to deal with the causes too. You know, we've got drug addiction, alcoholism, you know, and mental illness that's uncured. There's really no help for them. So now we've got the police shored up. That's the side we're putting a little more emphasis on. And what about uh, camping uh, in, in public spaces? That's mm -hmm. something you've worked on. Are there new policies that you think the Muni should be pursuing? Mm -hmm. Well, we have, they're probably not really new policies. We have a new document called Anchored Home, which is a guideline for what we'll be doing, which is not a whole lot different from what we had been doing. Um, but that is, the, that is the guidelines, and I think we are, um, all the organizations involved with this, which is very little city government, really. It's mostly nonprofits um, that are doing this work. And uh, we, we are starting to make some, some changes there. We are short on funds, so it's very expensive. And a big part of our role would be, uh, we call it abatement of the camps, and we don't do it for the winter. So it's about five months. We're not shutting down these camps. So they grow, and people get more used to living in the woods. So all summer, we're trying to play catch up and tamp that down. So I think from the city side, um, year-round abatement, and that means also providing a warm place for them to be. It doesn't have to be comfortable, but somewhere um, is a necessary component of that. With less funds expected from the state uh, coming into mm -hmm. the city, how should, the, how should Anchorage be paying for basic services in the years ahead? Well, we do it like we have. Um, you know, we've got mostly property taxes. We have you know various fees and fines and so on. And, but it's uh, you know about you know 55, 60 percent uh, property taxes. And what we've been paying is like for the police. We've cut other departments, so you cut other services to move to these what are clearly priorities right now. Are there new revenue sources that you think the muni should be pursuing? Well, there's alcohol tax. You know, it's on the ballot, and you know that's obviously a difficult thing for a lot of people. But uh, you know, no vote on the alcohol tax is saying you accept the status quo because we really need that. It'll be 11 to 15 million dollars. Uh, it's not enough to solve the problem, but we will make significant uh, impact on it, you know, with that revenue. I take it then that you are supporting the, yes. the alcohol tax. Mm -hmm. um, what about in South Anchorage? Uh, what, do you, what do you think are uh, the major issues specific to your area that need to be confronted? Well, those issues are crime and homelessness, and it's spilling over much more to the South Anchorage than it was um, you know, in previous years. But we've got some things that are kind of personal issues. You know, is access to Chugach State Park has been a long time goal of mine. And it's, it's got to be respectful of the large property owners up right up against the park. And we tried, I tried, uh, I think my first year, to expand the Parks and Rec Service area so that we would be able to buy, tr buy land to build trails and trailheads and, and do these things. But that failed. Uh, but we're still uh, kind of watching as developments, as land up there is developed, they have to provide some access and making sure that that's done. 
So it's sort of a, a slow, slower process now with that having failed. But I think eventually people in that area will say, please add us to the park service area so we can have. What about the port? Uh, the mm -hmm. latest estimate <laughs> kind of doubled the expected cost for mm -hmm. it, and yet nothing has changed as far as its uh, expected inoperability in the next few years. Well, you know, I, the, that large $1.9 billion is a lot to swallow, and I don't know that we can swallow that much, but that, was, that included things that we probably don't absolutely have to have. So if you get down to just the repairs, it's much less than that. That included expansion, so we'll have to look how much do we really need to expand. So I don't know that that's, that's kind of the all-in number, but not the main amount. And there's also been suggestions, and this gets a little out of my knowledge base, but we do have other ports. We have Port McKenzie, we got our port of Alaska, we got the port at Whittier, the port at Seward, and it could be any of those ports have kind of um, their areas of expertise. So maybe we don't have to do some of the things we're doing and those other ones could do it and just look at it as a regional system. John, uh, we are out of time. I want to thank you for coming in. Uh, John Weddleton is running unopposed for re-election to represent South Anchorage on the Assembly. 